What's up, Jessica High Squad? Today we are making a hot pot. We went to the 99 Ranch Market and we found this. It's um, a hot pot soup base from this brand called Little Sheep. I've also seen a hot pot restaurant called Little Sheep. So this might be like an at-home restaurant version to make this hot pot at home. And also it can be known as Shabu Shabu. Little Sheep your hot pot dipping sauce spicy. Items. So we got both of these items at the 99 Ranch Market and we also got some other ingredients to put into the hot pot. So let's go get started and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. We have a lot of other videos on our channel and a lot of recipes on our Cafe Secrets playlist. So right here we have some bean sprouts. I'm going to rinse them off and set these out on a bowl as one of the items that you can put in your hot pot. I also got some of this delicious gluten. And it's really just um, like a variety of different types of swain here and it's really flavorful and delicious. I'm gonna set this out. This one is especially good. And I got some of this. It says you try some. It just tastes like bok choy really. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash some of this also. This is how it looks out of the package. It almost looks like baby broccoli. <laughs> we also have my two favorite type of fish cakes. This has everything inside of it. It comes from Thailand. And here's a yummy fried fish cake. So I'm going to set this out also. So I set up the baked fish, the fried fish, and here is some beef that I had to get in the near ranch market. I don't see the type of meat sold anywhere else. I mean, because look how thin they slice it. They slice it so thin. And I actually picked up two pieces. This way it's so thin that as soon as it hits the broth, it cooks. This is the same exact beef that they would give you in Pho Thai. If you order, um, rare beef brisket for your pho. So I just took the beef apart and laid it down nice this way. It's easy to pick up when people grab it with their chopsticks. It'll be already ready to go. Now let's go get some more stuff. I'm going to put out some hoisin and some sriracha also. I don't have an actual hot pot base that's going to keep the soup boiling so I'm going to have to boil my soup and then bring it to the table and I'll place it in this pan. Here's how the hot pot dipping sauce looks. It doesn't smell spicy. It smells kind of like peanut butter. I'm going to put some in these little bowls. Okay, so here is this. Let's go ahead and find out what it looks like inside. Ooh, so look what you get here. This one. Hmm, I'm not sure what this is. Oil. This feels powdery. This feels... They both feel like powder packets and oil, and I'm still not sure what this item is. Let's see. This is for six people. We have to pour everything into six cups of boiling water for two to three minutes. So it's just that fast. And it says here, it says, Nearly 800 years ago, Kublai Khan, the first emperor of Yuan Dynasty, galloping across the grasslands with the Mongolians, they wore brocaded satin shirts and ate boiled meat and broth to show their inherited culture from their ancestors as well as their innovative spirits. Little sheep carries on this spirit of innovation and taste of origin by using raw materials that have soaked in the essence of their natural surroundings. As a delectable fusion of different species, Little Sheep selects the best origin to maximize the authenticity of the ingredients. So, um, it says this contains wheat and soybeans, so there's no English on this. It could be little um, fermented black soybeans. That's the first one. Whoa, that's a lot of pepper. My girls may not like it. It might be too spicy, so let me even put half of this pepper in. So let's open this one up. Here's where all the flavor is right here. It smells a little bit like beef. Here comes the oil. I hope it's not hot chili oil. Let's give it a smell. It smells slightly spicy. Let's see what these are. Oh yeah, they're definitely a little fermented um, soybeans or black beans. Mm -hmm. So here's how it looks so far. Give this a little try to see if the broth tastes good. Maybe I need to make some adjustments and add salt or something. <coughs> okay, that was actually spicy. That was actually spicy. Let me try this one more time to make sure. Was it just some of the dry seasonings that launched the back of my throat? <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. Let me stir that again. Ah, okay. 
Okay, that tastes too much better. I think I just got a um, spoonful of seasonings, and when I suck back, it went to the back of my throat. Next, I'm going to start separating my fresh rice noodles. Um, there's all kinds of noodles that you could put in a hot pot, but today we felt like putting rice noodles. Like this. We love their chewy texture. Uh, they do get stuck together, so you have to separate them. I even got some rolled rice noodle. Sampan kun tam han. I think that's what you say. Pan kun tam han. I don't think this is a traditional item to put in the hot pot, but I really want to put some in mine. Hot pot, I think, is you could put anything you want in there, really. As long as it's going to taste good in the soup. So there we go. Oh, this is coming to a boil. And I'm just removing some of the foam. Off the sides there. There is everything. I feel we, we can handle it. Look, as soon as you put the meat in there, see how it cooks it so fast? Let's put in some meat. And a fish ball. It's so spicy. Fish ball. Let's put in some veggies. I don't like the broth. You don't like the broth? Yeah. No. Then you don't have to eat the broth. Here. Let's have some noodles. Hold on. Can you give me a plate? I'll give you some noodles. I do like the meat dipped in the broth, but like, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like the broth. But. What's your taste test on this broth? Oh, uh, I give it like a three. A three. It does sound like this one strange smell, but it's kind of hard to identify what it is. You excited? Okay. These little bean sprouts? Yeah, don't you remember? You ate them. You put them inside? <laughs> what do you think, Sora? Good? No, I'm going to try that. Putting the rolled noodles in there was a bad idea because it came just unrolled. I think you were meant to dip the noodles and then eat it raw. The broth does have a rich flavor, and I'm going to try this dipping sauce now. Oops, I got some oil in here. The dipping sauce is um kind of salty. This is good because look how much our broth is left. We can go ahead and put that in the refrigerator, with all toppings, and just... If you want to make a quick bowl of soup, you could just go ahead and make it. So, if you're like me and you don't have an actual um, heating device under your pot, this worked out. Just bring in the super hot to the table and boiling. And then I only had to reheat it after about five minutes, and that was it. So, if you want to store your, your hot pot broth, all you have to do is pour the broth through a strainer, and it will take out the leftover fillings. Oh my god! After your hot pot, a good dessert would be some lynchies. Hey. Is that a good dessert? Huh? Want one? Yeah. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope you like this video. Bye!